Hello, it's Jimmy here at Wellies, and today we're going to look at a VW Polo and the engine is shaking, so we're going to have a look and see what's going on. So here is the car, we've opened the door, started the engine, now we're going to get the bonnet open. And the engine is jumping around a bit wild there. So we're going to plug it in and run some diagnostics. There's where we are, we've got this engine light on and a bit of shaking in the seat. Here's the fault codes that we've got. Cylinder 1 misfire and the purge flow. So first thing we're going to do here really is we're going to try and swap the coil pack and spark plug from cylinder 1 to a different cylinder and see if the, if the misfire moves from cylinder 1 to another. So we've got the coil packs out, it's just basically lift and unplug. So first we're just going to swap coils swap them around from here to there and then we can change the spark plugs if need be but we're going to change just the coils at a minute so we'll know if it's the coils or the plugs if we change one at a time now number two here I'm gonna put in number one and number one into number two now we're just gonna plug these in Number one has got a broken plug, and that's the one that was misfiring, so maybe something to do with that, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. It was plugged in nice and tight, so probably not. It still fits in nice and snug. Just make sure they're pressed right down. Now we're going to clear the codes and restart the car. Now we can clear these codes. That's done. Now we're going to start the engine. And we've still got the vibration, of course. So we're going to wait a minute until the engine light comes on. Should come back on in a minute. Once the engine light's back on, we can do another diagnostic test. And there we go, about 20 seconds later, we've got the flashing light. Now we'll do a rescan. Scanning cylinder two misfire detected, so we're looking at definitely an ignition coil there, and we know it's not the spark plug because we've only changed just the coil. So we've just changed a single coil from cylinder one to two, and we've got the misfire there now. So that means we can just get a single coil and replace it. If it was my car, I'd replace all three spark plugs while we're at it, but. I'll leave that down to the customer and we'll see how we get on. So there you go on that, we've moved from cylinder 1 to 2 and the misfire moved along with that. So if the misfire stayed on cylinder 1 there, we'd then remove the coils and then we'd swap the spark plugs around and see if the cylinder moved, if the, uh, the misfire on the cylinder moved. If the misfire moved on the spark plugs, then you know it's the spark plugs. If your misfire is still on cylinder one after you've changed or swapped around the ignition coil and after you've swapped around the spark plug, then unfortunately you're looking at a, at a bit of a more complicated problem, either something in the cylinder, uh, you could have uh, bits of broken spark plug in the, in the cylinder or even worse you could have damaged valves or a damaged piston in that cylinder so that's where it gets a bit more complicated but hopefully nine times out of ten or nine point five times out of ten it's always either an ignition coil or the spark plug but it's always worth checking like I've done and showed you beforehand okay so that's all for that video and if we're gonna replace it we'll continue from here 
So, as they're quite cheap, customers gone to ask us to just replace all three spark plugs and all three ignition coils. So we're going to get these out. All you need to do is just get a little pry bar under there. Let's just make sure we're not going to stretch that wire. Get a little pry bar under, lift it up, and out it comes. Then we just unplug it. And here we've got our spark plug socket on an extension. And we can get that down in there and we can just open them up and we're going to do this to all three spark plugs and here we've got three brand new spark plugs and here are the three old ones so these can go down in here one two and three now we're just going to tighten them back up and again here's the old Ignition coils and here is our new ones. So we're gonna get these fitted. So I've just got those in and you're just gonna push all the way down until it's as far as it can go. Now we should start her up and the engine should be perfectly running. So we're back inside. Start her up. We might have to clear an engine code. And look at that. We didn't even have to put our diagnostic machine back in. It just cleared on its own. And we got a nice smooth idle. Smooth engine. All good. So that's the job, all finished, and a happy customer.